What is your first thought about this season? I can't believe it's my last season. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Time to go to work. Camp is basically just football all day. Just wake up thinking, eating, sleeping. I mean, everything you do revolves around oh, yeah. football. Did I get your life hurt? Well, we ready to get it. It's 2017, 2017. Summer camp. Summer camp. We have walkthroughs, we have meetings. Um, we'll get out of meetings late at night, go straight to bed, wake up early, come over, do meetings or a lift. More meetings, more walkthroughs, more practice. It's just everything we do is to get better. Camp about to start, let's get it, man. About to start this thing up, let's get it. It's being able to take a blow as well as give a blow that's going to define who we are. Because there's going to be times during this season, there's going to be times during this camp, there's going to be times every day that you're going to have to take a blow. And it's going to be your ability to bounce back from that, to take coaching, to take a, a fall down the depth chart, to keep working, to keep pushing, to keep going to play the next opponent, not worrying about who it is, not worrying about the next week, just sitting there taking it blow by blow, punch by punch, to get where we want to go. UGA Camp Life is brought to you by Ford. Make the smart choice. Ford F-150, the official truck of the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, we'll follow our usual format. Uh, Coach Smart will have uh, maybe a couple of brief opening remarks, and then we'll take your questions. I'm thrilled for this day to get here, excited um, to find out how a lot of these new guys learn. You know, I mean, it's hard when you're out there in summer workouts to see if a guy learns well, see what a guy does. But when you get in these meetings and you do these walkthroughs and you have a lot of stuff going on really fast, you find out a lot about guys. And there's only so much you can get done in shorts. And uh, we're gonna be in shorts for two practices. But as we move out of shorts, we'll find out a lot about guys. Football is a tough, physical, uh, demanding game. And uh, we have a camp window, we call it. And uh, we've been in these seats that you guys are in right now. And we've been talking about being demanding, being physical. These practices are not easy. The idea is to create adversity for your team, find out who the leaders are, and we're gonna be able to do that. You know, not necessarily right away, because you've got shorts on, but as you move into it and you get into scrimmages, you move guys up and down the depth chart, you find out where they, uh, how they respond to things and how they react. Talking defensively, how much has Roquan grown from sitting out um, this past spring? Roquan is, is really special. You know, I've never, I've never had a kid even the years that I've been at other places that was able to lead while being out and being injured, that's hard to do. I mean, put yourself in that situation. You're not out there, it's hot, it's 100 degrees, you've got pads on, and you're not practicing and they are, but yet you're still willing to go and say, come on man, we gotta pick it up. That wasn't good enough. He's continued that role. Okay, because we talked to him about, hey, look, you got to be the leader whether you're out there or not. Well, now he's out there. He's out there every day. He's backing it up. So I'm excited about where he is. He has to do it with consistency, but effort has never been a question for that young man. How do you define a leader? Uh, someone who actually leads by example, but as well as vocal as well, and just there for their teammates through tough times and just always there being supportive and actually doing things the right way as well. Do you feel comfortable? I definitely feel comfortable being a leader on this team, leading a great group of guys, and just being the best guy that I can be as well. Good afternoon, man. Meetings during camp is camp, so you, you you expect to grind and whatnot. So like meetings, that's just a part of it. So I have my mind made up when I first come to camp that it's going to be a grind. Prepare for meetings. You can't fall asleep. You have to make the best of each and every opportunity. <laughs>
watching UGA Camp Live, brought to you by Ford. Make the smart choice. Ford F-150, the official truck of the Georgia Bulldogs. The big bar room right here. What's up, Big Dad? You good? How was your day today? Hey, yo. What's up, y'all? You good know, going on? live in the room, five, three, <laughs> fifty. Y'all should be sleeping. Live profile. You know, if you practice hard, it means you'd already be sleeping. You know, camp's good because you go out there every day, and then you're coming back, you're meeting with your friends and your, and your teammates and your coaches, and you're going to have dinner with them, and then you're going to go have a late night snack and then hang out before bed. And So just being around the guys for two weeks, you get to know more and more about them that you didn't know before. So I think... Um, Camp's a great experience for, for team up, bonding. We clocking out, you know, night time. In camp, there's a lot of there's a lot of energy. Coaches are coaches are uh, coaches have a lot of energy. They expect a lot out of you day in and day out. Uh, players are players are wild up. You know, they're, they're bit, they've been banging on each other for two weeks, and you know, there's there's nobody else here but us. So um, energy's high. People are grinding, sweating. Having the year under my belt has changed a lot, so this camp I feel a lot more comfortable in the pocket than, than I did last camp. I think I'm more mature this year, uh, football-wise, off the field-wise, on the field-wise. Um, I've had, like I said, I've had experiences and, and uh, things I've learned from and things I've done wrong and right, and I can kind of balance those things out and uh, put, it, put, put it on the field. What's happening, fellas? I got nine brothers, six sisters, one mom working two jobs, and we had no money. I used to have to go to school early in the morning, wash my face, and brush my teeth in the school's bathroom because there was no water at home. Man, what I want to encourage and inspire you with is when you're looking for motivation, not just on game day, not just in the practice, not just when it's hot outside and the conditions are bad. I want to train and prepare you to be able to stay motivated, consistently stay in a constant state of certainty. That the reality is, no matter how bad it gets, no matter how tough it gets, I won't give up, I won't give out, I won't give in. I always remember, no matter what I do, I represent these dogs, I represent these colors, I'm a part of something bigger than myself, and I gotta stay in the game. That's gotta be your mentality. And stand out and be willing to be different. Be willing to be uncommon. Be willing to go against the flow and decide in order for me to keep this laser-like focus, in order for me to be able to accomplish all that I have potential to accomplish, in order to stay up, up in this down, down world, my focus has to remain unshakable. Did I come here to be developed, to be coached, to be the best that I could possibly be? Did I come here to be a part of a brotherhood or what? Brotherhood or what? Am I a part of something bigger than myself? Is it about me or is it about my team? It matters to the men who walk these hallways, to the men that put on that jersey and that helmet. It means something to them. It's significant, and I want you to allow that to motivate you, that I stand on the shoulders of men that came before me. When you got a chance to make the right choice or a wrong choice, when you got a chance to keep grinding or start coasting, when you got a choice to focus in or, or get distracted, Lean into it, dig deep, and do it for the man next to you. You're watching UGA Camp Live, brought to you by Ford. Make the smart choice. Ford F-150, the official truck of the Georgia Bulldogs. We're back. We ready. Ready to run. To know that it was my last one coming around for the, the ultimate best one, but you know, now that we're coming to an end, it's kind of getting sad. You know, knowing that I'll never be able to come back this time of the year and come out here with the boys and practice and meet you know, for however for so long go to the hotel and see the guys, you know, every day. But, you know, then again, it's also, you know, kind of good, good knowing that I'm going on to the next, you know, years of my life. Hey, 
Hey, we're gonna do a quick warm up. Hey, hey, we got a quick warm up, all right? So get ready to go. in the weight room during camp is high. It's just like off-season grind. We're in there trying to get stronger, you know, try to help us become that better team, not even on the field, but in the weight room. And I think that's important. You have to figure out really what you want. If you really want like football, then um, you have to push through and um, your mind can take you to dark places, you know, just, I don't feel like getting up, I don't feel like practicing, but, you know, you have to just push through, push through that. Physically, I mean, you hurt every day, but, you know, it's kind of easy to handle the physical part, just keep pushing through and keep challenging yourself. Hey, dogs on two, one, two! Oh, good job, good job! You got me? Every release you have, I want them on their heels. You with me? And this next period, I want to score like every play. I want the juice from the fruit. Receiver! Let's go! Go! Stay up! Tyler! Get your head up, Tyler! There you go! There you go! There you go, hey! There you go, there you go, you good! Good job! Good job, Indy! Indy! You know, every day you're getting up and doing the same things over and over and you're practicing, it's physical. And it's not only hard on you physically, but also mentally. It's just, it's a, it's a drive, man, it's hard. I would describe camp as a mental grind. Uh, when things don't go right, we have to stick together. And when things go right, we're right there for each other to cheer each other on. Just make sure you got your crew with you. you got your big boys with you. I'm going to stab it. Hey, D, stab it. Rip series. Press it. Press it. There you go. Hustle on. We good. We good. Here we go. Next one. Good. There you go. Ah, there you go, Hulk. That's it. Focus on him, babe. Throw that rip in. Good. There you go. Good. Good. Ah. I'm up, I'm outside of everything on earth. Outside of that, Dave. I mean, these guys are my brothers, and every day we sleep, eat together, do we basically live together, so I see them every day, and they keep me going, you know, I keep them going. We just um we just get along, it's a great bun here. Block everything out! Block everything out. Play the next play. Here we go. Press it. There you go right there. There you go right there, Sight. There you go right there, Sight. There you go right there. Give me love. Give me love. Hey, break. Good job, bro. Hey, those were better reps right there, little bro. Let's go. Let's go. Expectations for this season is to win every game. Go to the SEC Championship and win the National Championship. You're watching UGA Camp Live. 
Brought to you by Ford. Make the smart choice. Ford F-150, the official truck of the Georgia Bulldogs. That's the first time you know it's for real when you go to that scrimmage and you say, okay, we're in training for a big game. Now we're going to simulate a big game. This is the first real training regimen to have. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta read your keys, gotta read your keys. We think the stadium obviously is a special place. When you go between the edges, it's got to mean something to you. But that doesn't diminish the importance of practicing here at our facility or in the indoor. Every one of them is important. And when you take those um, the right way and you approach them the right way, it makes it when you go between the hedges that much easier. Ah, good job, Jacob. Good job, Jacob. Cover them down, guys. They're peppering them. They're peppering them. They're peppering them. They're peppering them. We learned a lot about our team today. Number one, what kind of shape are we in? It was the first, it was the first, it was the first hot practice, right? It ain't y'all's fault. It ain't y'all's fault. Number two, we found out today, we got some toughness. We got guys that run the ball down your throat, make some plays in the red area, make some field goals, hit some good punts. We get to watch this tape tomorrow's coaches, and we're going to point out all the good things you did, and we're going to try to correct all the bad things. Does everybody agree we can have a football team? Yes, sir. We can, and I appreciate you guys grinding, but remember, this next week is really camping our brains, okay? Everybody good there? All right, fellas, let's call it up.